Welcome back to this channel, Stevie J is here. And in this video, we're gonna talk about hurdling again. I just came back from practice and recorded a little bit of my own hurdling. We're gonna compare my hurdling to the hurdling of Grant Holloway, especially the first hurdle. Um, I also gonna show you guys a really nice exercise, how you can develop nice mobility skills uh, in your hips and um, increase the mobility in your hips to, uh, yeah, just make hurdling a little bit easier and to become a little bit more confident. All right, let's jump into the video. I would start with, with Grant Holloway's start. I found a really nice video of his world record when he raced a 7.32 in the 60 meter hurdles. Why not? <laughs> but um, a lot to see, a lot to learn from him. So let's start with watching the video and then we're gonna analyze it, as always, guys. Here you see he is right here on lane six and let's check out the first hurdle again. All right, really nice, really nice start. Okay, what do we see? Grant Holloway, here we got the start. Nice arm swing being aggressive towards the hurdle, coming, building up momentum. And now you want to become tall and attacking the first hurdle. Here's the last step. The upper body is moving on the lead leg, as you can see here. An aggressive arm swing, especially from the lead arm, which is this arm right there. You see how aggressive he is bringing it back to his body. His arms are tight on his body, very important thing. And also what Grant Holloway does very nicely, he doesn't move his upper body a lot. His head stays calm basically throughout the whole race. And yeah, just to avoid any, any motion, any movement that could disrupt or yeah, change this really uh, calm system. You wanna have a calm but fast system in the hurdles and yeah. All right, let's compare this to my start I did today. This is me sitting in the starting blocks. I think it is a slow-mo video, so let's jump into it. All right, what I see already and what is kind of strange, look here, I'm in the start block, I'm coming out, I'm having a nice and big arm swing. That looks really nice in the beginning, but then look at my second step and what I'm doing with my arms. It's not swinging through, especially not this arm. This arm here is not swinging as hard as the arm did before. Look where it is here. And then it's not coming through. Um, that's a, definitely a mistake I do in the beginning because if you do not swing your arms correctly and especially to the full extension, um, not higher than your head though, like you want to stay within like this lane. So you don't want to cross this lane. Um, but I'm missing out on momentum just in the start and it's basically free momentum just using your arms, um, yeah. All right, attacking the hurdle, I'm becoming tall. My view is directed to the hurdle. I am aggressive, that looks all pretty, pretty good. Let's go into the last step. We wanna have a last and active last step. That's kinda okay, it's okay, I guess. I am on the mark. Might be a little bit close. Um, I can't really see it though, since there are two marks, but we also change sometimes the distance of the first hurdle. That's why I think I am a too close in this, in this case. However, I'm going forward. I'm leaning on my lead leg. That all looks pretty nice. Then my lead leg is supposed to come down to the ground as quickly as possible. That is not really happening. 
the distance between the first hurdle, like between the hurdle and where my step happens is too big. So what do I need to work on? I think I need to have more distance from the first hurdle so that my lead leg is having its maximum height before the hurdle and not in this case kind of over the hurdle. I want to have it before the hurdle to like step in afterwards and yeah. What are my arms doing? My lead arm is going forward. That looks okay. It's active. The, the trail leg is coming forwards. However, my upper body is leaning kind of backwards now. It's definitely getting better, but it's not perfect. If you compare now this body position to the body position of Grant Holloway, then you see the distance or you see the differences definitely in the lead arm because the lead arm of Grant Holloway is more aggressive and is coming down more quickly, which also creates that the lead leg is coming down also more quickly. All right, guys. As now we are coming into the part where I show you the exercise, how to increase your hip mobility. For this, we're gonna go on the hurdle seat. As you can see here, I'm going into the hurdle seat, try to have a stable seat, try to get comfortable, try to breathe. It's very important if you want to stretch that you're breathing. Um, believe me, when I'm sitting in this hurdle seat, it's also painful for me. So it's not like easy or whatever. It's never going to be easy as long as you don't do it. So here I'm trying to lean forward on my tray leg. And now we're coming to the exercise. You're just basically standing up, twisting on your heels, and going into the opposite side of the hurdle seat. Of course, you want to practice both sides. Both sides are important and you cannot neglect the other side. You have to practice the other side to also become good in your preferred side or your better side. Um, personally, when I started practicing my opposite side, is it in high jump or is it in the hurdles or also throwing with my left arm instead of my right arm, the technique is like developing in both sides. So if you become stronger with the opposite arm, opposite leg, you will become stronger on your good arm as well. And that's just awesome. Um, and it's also fun because it's, it's a little bit more complicated and you have to get used to it. But yeah, then the same thing on the left arm, on the, on the other side, you just stretching, try to move, try to um, like, Try to just have smaller movements also in your hip area to like just open up these hip areas to um, stretch the muscles right there. And yeah, try to just have a couple of these, um, a couple of reps and yeah, that's gonna help you a lot. All right guys, thank you so much for watching these videos. I hope I can help you guys. If you have any feedback, write it down in the comments and yeah, we're gonna see us in the next video. Bye bye.